Everybody knows someone, a family member or a friend or a celebrity that has had breast cancer. If breast cancer is to treat at a later stage, it's much harder to treat and definitely almost impossible to cure. Breast cancer is one of the biggest killers in Australia. Mammography is really the key diagnostic test that people undergo for breast cancer. So what we're trying to find is, is the needle in the haystack. I think if a patient uh, undergoes a mammogram and then is told that they need further tests or more examinations, it, it really is a very stressful occasion for them. It's like this big mountain falls in front of you um, and you can't think about your work, your career, your, um, your kids. It's like life stops. Any delay can actually be very stressful, so and it can be quite a shock that they're not able to get their immediate answer. And uh, you have to actually go to another place and go through the, uh, the, the process again. You're getting, getting the time between the abnormality and the diagnosis um, as short as possible is, is vital. Contrast Enhanced Spectral Mammography is a new tool that's been developed by GE Healthcare. It's called Cenobride. The Cenobride is a quicker test. It, it's probably five to ten minutes. All we do is we put an injection in and give some intravenous contrast because we know that cancer cells produce um, new blood vessels and those new blood vessels take up the contrast. As you can see, the lesion is very hard to perceive in a standard mammogram, but when we apply the new technology, contrast enhanced spectral mammography, the lesion is very apparent bit like a light shining in the fog. They're able to actually have the procedure done on the same day by the same staff in the same room that they had their mammogram. So in terms of um, workflow it's another injection, another exposure and they can see the, the issues then and there. And I think this type of new technology will give us the added dimensions for the radiologist to feel more confident. So if we can alleviate that uncertainty regardless of what the diagnosis is, I think that could be a relief to patients.